Hey guys, so we are super excited because we're finally launching the boat after a long winter on the harbor. Exciting day. Uh, well, actually not quite. We actually have some big changes coming this year, but we're pretty much just rolling with it because they are really awesome changes. Totally awesome changes. And we are happy to take you along on our adventure. Previously on Sailing Nine Lives. We bought an old catamaran in North Carolina. We didn't know much about sailing, but luckily we learned along the way as we traveled north up the coast. A few things broke. A lot of mistakes were made, but we managed to get through it all. We faced blue skies, stormy weather, calm seas, and rough seas all along the way. We traveled across bays, through canals, up rivers, and we even spent some time on the ocean. And we crossed bridges when we came to them. Well, more like we crossed under them. A lot of them. But there were many, many, many bridges. A lot of bridges. I think my favorite thing about sailing so far has got to be a renewed interest in experiencing the world around us on a grander scale. Like taking time to enjoy all of the beautiful sunsets. Join us as we continue forward. We've made plans. We've broken them. And then we've made new plans. And we're very excited to see how they turn out. Time for you to go, skimmer. As the snow finally melted away, we saw our first hints of spring. Mm. We began to look forward to our original plan of departing in June to head out for the Great Loop. Well, I wasn't planning on doing any topside painting this year, but I might do a couple select areas, like back here, since I'm going to put a new uh, set of decals on here. And obviously, this paint peeled away. It's not going to work so well. well. Maybe a couple surfaces I'll do. Of course, before we started the Great Loop, we so needed to prepare the boat. And part of that included finally, officially renaming and relabeling the boat so that it finally matches its United States Coast Guard documentation. It's like super windy out here, uh, but every now and then it dies down a little bit. Start back here. Yeah, comes right off. Nice. Unfortunately, the previous owner's paint job was not very good, so removing the vinyl lettering left a lot of damage oh, behind. Of course, it is being here. We also had some damage in the hull we had to deal with. It happened from hitting a broken piling in Chesapeake City. Yeah, so now we had to deal with something we weren't planning on working on, but it wasn't outside of our capabilities. The boat was actually in an okay condition, but it just had some ugly damaged areas that we had to fix. So we started filling it in with some epoxy to try to get those gouges a little more flat. So began our journey of applying lipstick to a pig. What's up, Sanding Girl? Sanding. So I have the hulls completely stripped of all sorts of stickers and adhesive and I have epoxy, all the gouges and things that I found along the way. There's still some more epoxy work to be done. I'm going to 
sand the entire boat and prepare for priming. And I know that there'll be a little bit more epoxy work to be done before I prime, but that's where I'm at. First pass on the port side is done. And there's the starboard side. I try to figure out where to paint the inside of the halls. I'm looking for a line that I can follow kind of from here down. And what I think I'm gonna do is go with, there's kind of a line here in the hull that I'm gonna follow down to a point. And you can see I already marked that off on this side with some blue tape. It's definitely more art than science because there's some curve to it. Because it's following the curve of the hull. I think we'll go with that. See if I can replicate it on the port side. Blue mark. Okay, along this body line, 68 and a quarter. It's close. It's close. Luckily, we managed to fare all the holes, and most of the damage was pretty much covered. And now we have to sand everything down and start repainting. What have you done? So much stuff in the boat. It appears to not be in the boat anymore. Seeing as we're first time boat owners, we sort of made a bonehead move and left a bunch of food on the boat over the winter, which inevitably led to mice. Yep. Well, here's your dinghy. That. In the vacuum. This? This is the dinghy floor and I think a bench. You have to build the floor? Yeah, it's a soft bottom. Doesn't have a solid bottom. They put this floor in there. Nice. I guess. Cool. Oh my god. All that white stuff? That used to be one of these orange ropes. The center of the core of that rope. Looks like we had a mouse on here. But then we ran out of time and we were totally not ready. We weren't even close to ready. We didn't paint the boat, we didn't prime the boat. Going in whether we're ready or not. We hadn't replaced the steering cables to fix the steering that had been broken for months. But the Yacht Club needed our boat out of the way so the entire fleet could finally be launched. So in we went. Great loop? Nope. Get the boat prepped and painted before launch day? Nope. Where are the results of that test? The result of the test positive. Positive? Positive. <laughs> How you feeling? Oh, I feel better knowing the doctor said it was positive and not just a stick. Not just a stick. Two Bahama Mamas. And coming in 2019, 
is a new addition to the Sailing Nine Lives crew. Booga Booga face. That's right. Virginia's pregnant. With a baby. With a baby. <laughs> but we're going to sail. With the baby. With the baby. You get it? Don't worry about it. Are you it. stupid? Don't worry about Don't it. Don't be stupid. Can you point out what we're actually looking at? Get from here to here is the baby. Oh. Looks like a big old blob. <laughs> That's probably my side. Um, I'm mostly big old blob. <laughs> Prepping the haul out again. We've finally been given the go ahead to pull the boat out, put it on the hard, and finally repaint the hulls. After a few weeks, space became available on land again, so we hauled the boat out so we could finish the overhaul work we had started. Sailing the Great Loop in June was pretty much impossible. So much has conspired against us. We had poor weather, work travel, family obligations, doctor visits, you name it. So our plans have evolved. We're going to finish up a short list of boat rehab projects, put her back in the water, and spend a few months sailing the iconic coastal areas of New England with Captain Jack and the Dread Pirate. Recently, I switched jobs with the company I'm working for, so I can work a lot more remote, which is great for sailing and for the baby. Baby time. We're good. And I'm already working remotely, so staying within the range of a cellular signal all the time is going to be key. We are headed to Morocco for a week for our anniversary and baby moon. Then we plan to sail with the dogs and the growing baby bump down the east coast of the U.S. as hurricane season draws to an end. We're back at it again, cleaning up the hulls to prepare for paint. The boat's been sitting a few days after we did our last epoxy and sanding job. I have some concerns about how some areas of this boat are going to turn out once painted dark. Might draw attention to things like right over here. There's a bit of a wave in the hull. And I'm sure with the darker paint, that'll probably be even more evident. It's uh, somewhere near the forward bulkhead. Just gives a little bit of a wave to the body of the boat. Nothing I'm going to do about that. It's just going to have to be there. And luckily, we're not looking for perfection here because we're not going to get it. In our next episode, the boat gets a whole new look with a multi part paint job covering everything below the rub rail. We're getting ready to make her splash, and we'll sail for the entirety of the remaining months of this year. And then, just keep on going into the next. Paint the boat, they said. Do it yourself, they said. It'll be easy, they said. So much fun, they said. <laughs>